ومنهم رجال يؤثرون سياحة وسكن مغارات الجبال وقفرة يسيحون من شعب إلى بطن واد وكل خراب والفياف الخلية And amongst them also are men who have chosen to travel and to live in the remote valleys of the mountains and in desert places. Wandering from valley to the belly of the next valley and every deserted place and empty wilderness. And this refers to a category of Muslim seeker or wayfarer that now effectively no longer exists to Allahu A'lam. But it was also part of the wayfaring of the medieval Sufi that he might be expected to travel in remote places in order to distance himself from the distractions of the world and to contemplate Allah's creation. Many of the, of the very early Muslims in the first two centuries did precisely this. But nowadays, partly perhaps because there are no deserted places left, this is uh, a practice that has effectively come to an end. And I don't know any murshid, any spiritual teacher in Islam who still commends such a practice.